Uh, always yes. recommend. Like we did last year. Just... Okay. I just want to be in the same order. Okay, I'll open a board selections meeting for January 31st, 2024 at 6.40. <clears throat> All right. First up is the accountant. Just what, we'll, what we'll do is we'll go right through each tab. Down collector. No. Oh, on the board of selectmen. Oh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Nope. All right, I'll add it. Is it in, um, could it be in finance? You can look in there. I mean, I have the paper here, so you can okay. look at it old fashioned way. But I thought I'd get there. Finance committee. I can go add it if you guys want to move on to something else really quick so it can be there. No, because no, I think I would have, because it's not done. Yep. Let me go add it. Yep. Give me two seconds. Gotten any notice of an increase for FY25 on the accountant? Not that I've heard. Uh, I haven't. Not that I've heard. <clears throat> All I know is at the conference, he said, We love you. We're happy if you don't need us, um, but we're happy to help as long as you do. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So, looks like no increase. 73,140, 73,140. Like Which would be fine. Yep, it is. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, it's just that they didn't put them in the right columns, but I'll do that. The accountant didn't say anything, Maribel, about increase. No, that would be up to um, Eric. So, but no, they haven't said it's for the rest of the fiscal year. So, I don't have any word of an increase as of now. Okay. But currently, it's five thousand a month. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any issues? Nope. Nope, they're fine. Board of Assessors. That's on the previous page. Mm -hmm. They're showing uh, 4300 dollars increase. Okay, that works. Mm -hmm. FY25 is their assessment year. Yeah. But we, that, that's every yeah. five years, yeah. Yeah. How much are you showing? It's actually a 2027, that's what I see. No, I was looking at this wrong. I was okay. 4,700 over here. Oh, gotcha. Actually, yep. Forget it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, because not all of the um, columns were done as Excel desires them, so I've just fixed them on the screen. So it's a 2027 um, increase from uh, previous budget. All right. 
And then I don't know what the reevaluation. It's on uh, the next one. Oh, it is. Okay, it so a that, separate tab. Okay. Yeah. Close that one. And then reevaluation. Looks yes. like a sixteen hundred twenty dollar mm -hmm. mm -hmm. reduction. Yep. yep. In uh, well, how, how can that be? They look. Mm -mm. They look exactly the same. Be Oh wait, FY budget is three thousand. They're requesting twenty three hundred, thirty seven hundred, and they're requesting twenty seven eighty. So yeah, it is a sixteen hundred dollar mm -hmm. reduction. Yeah, the total was sixty seven hundred this year. Yep. 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 And they're asking for five thousand eighty. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice trend. So. Board of Health, Rowdy Group. That's two thousand less. Yep. Yes. Also, they considered the um, overall financial needs of the town um, in uh, making a reduction. But level funded to the revised. Um, special town meeting amount mm -hmm. so I, I did update that from the spreadsheet um so i don't know if that's going to confuse anybody because when you look at june's meeting it's not going to be five thousand but they, they are asking for the to budget the five thousand mm -hmm. okay yep. Yep. that makes sense but reducing the expense line <laughs> Oh, yes. Who's next? Do you, do you guys want to skip yours and go to the other ones? What? Are you guys doing Board of Selectmen now? Board of Selectmen, yep. Okay. Uh, this one. Okay, so let me... They're all, are they all level funded? Nothing's added. Okay, I don't so let me just see if I can work. copy. That was up to... You guys took okay. fucking numbers. Okay, so now it shows uh, level funding. Insurance is going to be what this year? Insurance, we have an estimate to request of forty nine thousand. Hold on. Insurance. I don't know how she gave me forty nine thousand. That doesn't seem right. Well, that's the general liability. That's okay. That's the general. Yeah. And okay. I'm going to get another one for twenty nine for the. Yeah. Okay. So for the general thirty nine. Would be safe. Uh, last year's was um, forty-five thousand seven forty. She said to increase it by seven and a half percent. Okay. Get that number, which was forty-nine one seventy fifty, deducted by two and a half with all our deductions, any credits, um, where we get a number of forty-seven thousand nine forty-one twenty-four, rounding that up to forty-eight. Um, Adding also six hundred and twenty-five dollars, which is half of the remaining of the valuation that will be split between fiscal twenty-five and twenty-six for the town buildings. Again, so that's a total of forty-eight six twenty-five, with a request of an even number of forty-nine, or suggestion mm -hmm. rather. Okay. For that portion of it, and then police and safety. <clears throat> The total is seventy four one fifty four. 
for this year. Mm -hmm. I, I think we should bump that up because the police and fire are going to come in higher. We already know that because uh, of Fred going full time. It was six, 600 bucks. Okay. I think what was it for the ch Shabbat that was almost 29 or 30 yeah, yeah, that was signed eight or something at like the so, meeting um, last year? I, I would push that to 76 <clears throat> just to be safe. Okay. Now, website and IT services, isn't this one of the ones that appears somewhere else too? Yeah, there's two of them. So that one's listed here, but I think at the board you have discussed that with some of the extra, you know, um, Excel and SharePoint that that would could be funded from there. So, to see where the other wherever that is whatever i think it's town hall it's town hall it's right here it's um, um computer services mm -hmm. that should all be wrapped in internet way. access there's computer services there's internet access yeah that's what i'm getting at yeah so those two should be wrapped into this one Although even at the fourteen thousand five hundred twenty, we're nowhere close. Well, right? Sam Geeks is nine oh, okay. something, mm -hmm. almost nine fifty, give or take. Yeah, sixteen thousand a month just for the maintenance. Yep. Plus, now we have the additional three hundred or more for the uh, extra security that's required, um, and then you know all the monthly or yearly fees for each individual email and SharePoint, OneDrive, all that. First two things you said is why this is 14,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And everything else is coming out of the other two mm -hmm. accounts. Can we get the total of the other two and just, then we'll delete that, not use that, but at least put the total um, budget mm -hmm. in and then see if it's really needed at that number. Because I think we've got more in there than we really need, even with all the modernization. You still might be about four grand in there. Okay. So internet access for fiscal twenty four is forty five. Forty five hundred. Okay. This is on the other one. Yep. And then we have another one that says internet computer services. Fiscal 24, that was 9,000. Even? Not even. Okay. That's, those are the only two? That's all I see. Plus the 14,520. Which is under the regular yeah, so board of selection. $28,020. Okay. Mm -hmm. $13,000 increase. <clears throat> Postage went up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's going up again. And anything that's certified is going to be close to $9. My question about the postage, though, is <clears throat> I have a little bit of experience with mailing things lately. And um, even with an address, so we, we, we send them to all of the addresses because we have their labels. We can't get a pre-sort discount. I thought you could, because I know the Boy Scouts do a, a pre-sort discount with labels to direct addresses. Hmm. Good question. I know that when we tried to do uh you know, uh, an account with the post office. Um, they said that they just can't do that. I mean, we went as far as having someone from like corporate office call us and say that 
that wasn't possible. Um, it was that's... the bulk rate. That's what it was. Okay, so yeah, so then they so won't can't... do that. No. Mm -mm. no. Wow. You know, because I thought initially, like, if the town could cut a check to the post office, even if it's a couple hundred dollars at a time, and, you know, you could kind of reduce it from there. Every time we needed services, you can't do that. Um, I don't know what other options. They didn't seem like they had any other alternative. Mm -hmm. But when we do the um, annual town meeting, that's a, pre that's a uh, bulk discount, right? That's a wide mail-in. So yes. just to postal customer, yeah. mm -hmm. so that's we're gonna, we're not paying full price for that at least. No, mm -hmm. no, that's too bad. So stamps are what, up to sixty six, seven sixty six. I don't know, but they just went up. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. do everything online. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you just see us. I'm like, you have a stamp? No. <laughs> so let me see. We still should look into um, Barry's and see if they still have our account for bulk mailing. We should bring that account back to here. Okay. Yes, because I remember that that's the only place. Because there's still money in that account. I don't think it's too much. It might but be it, 250 But is, was it under the town, just for the town? In, in it was the under the Board of Selectmen. Okay. But that's how we used to send out the heralds all the time. Okay. I mean, we could just whatever the the increase in prices multiply that by a percentage. Although we've only spent in November up to thirty dollars. Yeah. It goes, it's hard to tell because it goes in waves, right? Like if there's a lot going on, you know, there's more. There, and this isn't there, treasurer and this isn't town No, clerk. they have their own post. This is just this, Board of Selectmen yeah. mail. And FinCom has its own, FinCom has its own mailing. I think they have just expenses. It's just under expenses. There's no expense line? Oh, there is an expense line though, right? Yeah, 68 sense because they, they send out the annual town meeting yeah so they just they don't have postage for itself just a general expense yep. seems like i believe yeah so i mean it was 348 421 543 so really like at that pace mm -hmm. why wouldn't 24 be higher than 23 it's like maybe based on the Spentage, yeah, you know. So that was a. Uh, How much does it cost to send the annual town report out to everybody? Well, we don't send them out no. really to anybody, do we? No, no but any mail in, like when the uh, for the annual town meeting, that was a rough between 150 and 175 it was somewhere in that ballpark <laughs> i mean the board could level fund i mean in if they needed to and are there any other expense lines that it could come from if it, you know i mean uh, services or advertising yeah. i mean i'm sure it could Or even some of the ones on the other board of selectmen account. Mm -hmm. Office maintenance, repair, computer services. I mean, we can leave it as it is. Yeah. Okay. I think so. I think so. <clears throat> Administrative services is already at 2822. What's that? Um, capital strategic comes out of there. Any extra big additional? So we had some, you know, pricier invoices from them mm -hmm. just with help with the grants and stuff like that. I know they that definitely comes out of that account. And we do we fund 
the grant writing out of the grant? If, if the grant when it's allowed, if it's accessible, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. When it's allowed, not all of them are mm -hmm. allowed. No. So, but when we can, we do. And um, related to the grant writer, did we look at Central Mass for grant writing? From what I understand, they're far less expensive. No, we didn't look at them. Okay. It might be good to have them come and at least kind of talk about their grant writing. Yeah, see what they can do. Because they're doing a lot of local communities, and if they're working on a grant for something that everybody else is doing, then they could say, hey, we think you'd be interested in this rural community kind yeah. of grant. Yeah. yeah. We are a member of that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Is it okay if I reach out to um, her and ask her? Well, you, you could always ask Anybody. her. Anybody. Yeah. Okay. Come to her. Not next meeting, but meeting after. Um, who? Um, Janet? Yeah. Janet. Pierce? Yeah. I mean, with more grants being available, I would expect that we should increase the grant writing support to get more grants. So if, if that's where the grant writing is coming from, I don't think the 3,000 is going to be enough. The 175 an hour, I think. Yeah, 170, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What do you want to add? And and keep in mind that that's just for board of select board of selectmen. Yeah. Every department yeah. pay their own. and committee pay but their if, own if, thing. If yeah. we did the one stop grant, that would really be the town board of selectmen yes. applying for that. It would so. Be. Um, So you want to move it to five? Yeah, as a starting point, and could always be lowered or. And I mean, not all boards have expense lines. So what happens if there's a grant that they don't have a expense line? Would, it, would the board of selectmen have to say, well, it would come out of it could come out of that. Mm -hmm. Anything else in this? I think the admin assistant wages would be updated, wouldn't it? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. I mean, don't. <laughs> wow. I skipped right over that. Oh, no. I, I... Did you write it down? I didn't write it down, but I knew that it was there. <laughs> I knew not to skip over it. That should be forty five to forty. That's just at a flat. It's for, thirty hours. Right, but if there's any increases overall for the budget, it's just to get okay. the budget moving. Yeah, and then we will fine tune it. And then we'll go back to the wages. Yep. Yeah. Try to fit it into the our three year plan. Will it? Yeah, that would be nice. If Catch we out. could, if we, if we could, that's what we had planned to do. I mean, when when we turned back five hundred thousand dollars two years ago, five hundred thousand two two a year before that, four hundred something last year, this money it could have been, yep, to make those plans. We'll see what we got this year. Yeah. Oh, it was well, else. we yeah. we did leave two hundred thousand on the table after the town meeting. Yes, so is that so? That's still in free cash. Yes. Okay. Yep. So stipends stay the same for now. Correct. Although I will point out um, that all of the employees seem to have been getting increases, but 
how about the stipends? Have those been looked at? Not for not for a few years. I think when we're trying to recruit volunteers under stipends only, we shouldn't be too far behind because cemetery was increased. Okay. We were at thirty three dollars a person. We're now up to a hundred. Yeah. The, um... That was the one. That was the one I remember that, <laughs> that got increased. There are no stipends for conservation or for zoning board. There are none. Yeah, or finance. Parks the, and Rec. Yeah. Uh, any committees? Yeah, the study did agent. not do any of the stipends. They just did employee time, agents, yeah. Time yeah. employees. Yeah. Okay. And the board of selectmen is forty four thirteen. It's been that forever. Mm -hmm. But in nineteen ninety six, it was six thousand. Are you serious? It went nine down? Six. So we went backwards somewhere. Yeah. Huh. They were tough years back then. Yeah. They yeah. were, they oh, were really tough years back then. I remember. There were times that they didn't think they were going to make it. So well, I can I, remember that. I was looking at a lot of other towns today and how they had like negative free yep. cash. Yes. Just last year mm -hmm. around us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and so. Um, you know, you look at our our funds. We're we're very healthy. Um, and the healthiest I think of all the towns around, maybe Barry's. We're not blowing better. money. No. You know, no. I mean, if no. we need something, we put it in. If yeah. we don't, we don't. Yeah. Exactly. You know. Um, Do, um, how about? Um, so, I really feel like. Um, we should be uh, budgeting participation in conferences for board members. Um, so like the MMA conference that was mm -hmm. in ARPA. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, I saw communities that had their entire board there um, and their finance committee and um, uh, town administrator. And so I just, is there a place anywhere in town hall or board of selectmen that even considers it hasn't been there, there if i may there isn't a line item specifically for that but if the board wanted to change the word in um let's just say under education and that's yeah. conferences yeah, yeah you know that way it's general to board members mm -hmm. um and add it there that i would think that would be um would they wouldn't they have to um ex um end that particular number or no and then create a new number mm, that's a good question i'm not really sure because i've seen they see they keep the historical um accounts um it seems like in all of the reports even the ones that are never haven't been funded um well it really wouldn't make any difference because admin assistant education, you could be admin assistant slash BOS education, still education. Yeah. That's all we're going to track is education. Right, right. Yeah. You know? But we should have an idea that a thousand is already earmarked. Yep. Um, so, you know, the difference. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's due tomorrow, right? The expense. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay. I'm sure they are. So we want to increase that one? Uh, yeah, I think so. And we want to change its name? Yeah. Because that's what I do for Conservation Commission. So what are we calling it? Admin Assistant Education slash Board of Selectment Ed. Um, and you want to put how much into it? So the the conference was two two twenty. No, that was for wasn't that, that for was a room? room? Okay. Um, two twenty two plus the city taxes. Um, uh, so I think it was three hundred. So six hundred plus the two fifty ish for the conference. Right, and I think two forty for the conference. I think. Yeah. So you. Yeah. Two forty. Two forty. Two forty. Um, another thousand. Uh, but if you if went you, for the day. But if you do, but if you stayed day, over, it would be. It was, what like eight hundred a person. Yeah. That's why it was allocated from our yeah. about twenty four hundred dollars. Oh, we did. Yeah, yeah. 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 So <laughs> probably twenty four added. Okay. So. 
Thirty-four hundred. And for how how many times for an individual to be able to access it? Um, so that's the that's the in-person conference. It seems like ninety percent of the MMA webinars are all free because we're members. Right. Yeah. They do have some conferences that they charge. Yeah, they're like forty-five dollars. Yeah. Though. They're yeah. Not much. Yeah. So thirty-five hundred. Yeah. Like for conservation, each person is like allowed one this year, next person gets one. The next year, they can't all have them. Yeah, yeah. General reports, printing. Is that, on, is that a separate one? Next, next page. So it should say for selectman other. Oh, so it's not in this. Mm -hmm. yeah. We already raised that from a thousand sixty five to fifteen hundred this year. Other? Yep. Yeah, but last year I literally okay. spent okay. got it. Got it. I spent the full amount. I think it at the fifteen. You, did you spend the full fifteen? I spent like probably fifty dollars less. <laughs> it was pretty much the whole amount. Yeah. We have them a lot this year. Plus, he came to now to the special town meeting, which is an added expense that we've never had before. We've oh, never had them at the special town meeting. Oh, wait, are we talking about the same thing? Nope. We're talking about the printing, printing for the books. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. The annual. I would suggest to increase it a little bit. Um, that would. That's just my because I did pretty much use the whole fifteen hundred. All right. Oh yeah. Especially if you're going to put colored pictures 17. in. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, inflation's going to hit it. Yeah. Next is CMRPC. Did we get an estimate from that? I have not yet. No. They didn't go up they don't too go much. Up at all. No. I just. And that's just thing. for membership? Yeah. Yeah, so we can keep that where it is. Okay. It was five fifty eight, then five fifty six. Five fifty five seventy this year. Fifty six seventy three seventy this year. So that's what we paid five seventy okay. eighty two, and our budget was five seventy three. So go to five seventy five. <laughs> yeah, because they're gonna go up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, I'd put it right up to six hundred. Yeah. Six hundred. Yeah. Okay, twenty-seven dollars. Okay, they actually held their costs because of COVID a couple of times. And... Oh, all right. Because they were probably they were getting money. Mm -hmm. Okay. The legal expense decrease it. I think that they're going up in price a little bit too. Um, how do you guys do that? Let me just. It went up this year. Yeah, oh, hold on. Wow, so they went from six to 96 to 98. No, they didn't go up. Oh, it's use, added. it's utilization at utilization. how we much an hour? We used it a lot. 100. 160? 60. Wow. Something like that. Less than the consultant, and less than the. Yeah. I mean, when I've said to people how much we're paying, they're like, wow. That's a lot of money for um, someone to do grants. But she got a lot of grants for the police department. We got a thousand mm -hmm. total. Mm -hmm. Their hourly rate will increase the fiscal 25 by $10. Oh, two. Okay. just by $10. So from one, what? so it'll be 235. Oh, wow. So they are more expensive. Okay. Are we still considering keeping KP? I know we had talked about maybe investigating other places for the last two years. Yeah. It's just so much easier to stay with the same person, but are they 
doing as well. Well, they've been responsive to what our office has needed. Uh, not so Usually. Much, not so much with the planning board. Right. Yeah. And it's a different attorney. It's a different attorney. That's handling that. It depends who you So get. it depends on the, on, uh, you know, the general, general stuff. Yeah is the one that I usually deal with. Everything else is their specialty kind of thing. Mm -hmm. the, the problem is everybody complains about KP, but these other firms that are doing the same thing, they complain about them too. Yep. 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 I mean, so and, I don't know. Clearly, it seems like they have the market. They do. And so that says something. It can't just be that people don't want to change. I don't think. And Lauren Goldberg does a lot of these MMA webinars. Oh, yeah. She's who is, yeah, amazing. They partner with the MMA. Yeah. And I mean, I know that when I've called her directly, if I can't, she's always been right there. Call my cell phone. Here's this um, for what it's worth. So I just wonder. They're not always speedy reading our articles for the um, mm -hmm. town no. meetings. No. Uh, the, the last annual town meeting, I mean, they were lucky they squeezed in. They came that night and was still writing. Oh, yes, I remember that. Yeah. They were reading it. We were like, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Although we made me mess up on uh, appointing the moderator. Oh, yeah, he, he caught his typo. He looked at me and was like, oh, and, you know. I, I watched it on the video and I'm like, was I supposed to be watching you? No, <laughs> I didn't realize until you said it and then I made eye contact with him and he went like, he put literally put his hand over his face like, and that's, I mean, at least he got yeah, up and yeah. came and addressed it and made sure I was corrected. Um, but is the utilization going down from previous couple of no. years? No, it went up this year. Yeah. Okay. And it went up two years ago? Yeah, it went up two years ago. Hmm. I would leave that at 15. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. going to say. I don't know that it has I, to go up. I wouldn't raise it, but I wouldn't lower it. Yeah. I wouldn't lower it yeah. for sure. Yeah. Okay. Municipal building. And if I can just say something to the board really quick, see it. This still is broken down and under municipal built in the electric, but then under town hall, we also have electricity. Maybe I don't know if the board would like to merge those at some point, um, but they are two different line items. So this is municipal, and what's the other one? Board of Selectmen? No, town hall. Town oh. hall. So there's a town hall electricity. Oh, actually, no, that went to zero. So that must have gotten eliminated. Yeah. Okay, my apologies. And they're proposing an increase in electric rates. <laughs> of course. But well, we could get um, environmentally better um, lighting, which would reduce our costs okay. with a grant. Mm -hmm. So eventually we can bring those electric costs down, but we have to go through the MVP process first. So 6,000 is um, July, August, September, October, November. So mm -hmm. five months. Mm -hmm. um, they double it in a little more. Yeah, so I think 15500 is good because we're not hitting the summer months really yet. Yeah, those are pretty much on yeah on target. Although, but look at um, 23. What happened in 23? 26,000. 23, isn't that when they had the issue with the stuck heater up at the... Uh -oh. oh, right, right. Burning through electricity. So, yeah. Upstairs? Or? No, 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 at the uh, safety, complex. safety complex. Oh, is this municipal building includes... That's the safety complex. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I was thinking it was here. Okay. Wow. Wow. And they didn't notice? <laughs> it's been fixed and repaired since yeah. then. <laughs> <laughs> notice the $11,000 drop. Yes, yeah. Oh. And then heat, didn't they do work on heat too? Yeah. Um, and only 1,600, that's what, oil? Uh, yeah, that's the oil. Well, 
monitoring service that's didn't he say that that was going no it's 192 or 195 um tim said something about that well he uh, thought it was just a portion of the the services but when he called and they said it includes a phone and this he actually said it was a good um yeah it was price cheaper than yeah he thought mm -hmm. so i believe that gas for vehicles So double that plus some, I think that's still good. And price gas prices have gone down. Mm -hmm. This is also state bid. So okay. it's not really. Yep. It doesn't fluctuate. Not that much. No. I think if you notice the last few bills have been like 260 a gallon. Yeah. yeah. So the state bid does fluctuate as they fill it? Not usually. Okay. Not usually. They have the ability to. It depends if you get them at a fixed rate or uh, a fluctuating rate yeah. where, it, you know, you it can go either way. Yeah. yeah. And when do we do those bids? June. Do we have, we do don't, we? We don't do gas. Oh, okay. State bid. Mm -hmm. We don't need to. Mm -hmm. We do do the diesel. Right. Ooh, and that one's close. I think that should go to 8,000. Well, there's another line item for oh, diesel. Really? For snow and ice. Oh, okay. Because that's at 4,700, not even six months in. Yep. Yeah, there's another one under the highway. Also, from Charger to snow and ice, they have a tow mm -hmm. so, Yeah. What, the board wants to call something or? I would keep that one the same. Okay. So we're good with this one. So this is all level fund. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so next is street lights. Twenty two hundred. Mm -hmm. And we only spent two sixty seven. And are those LED lights? These are the lights for outside. Um, I think it's common. It's one of the smaller well, we, fills that we, we get. We had burnt light bulbs for a while, so. Right. <laughs> you also get charged for the lights on the poles out here. Yeah. One which doesn't work. Mm -hmm. No. All of the lights throughout the town that are still on the poles we're charged for, even though they're off. We don't get charged for usage. We get charged for having them there. Oh, and they haven't been on in a long time. It's Ten been plus years. Yeah. Several, several years. Yeah. So could we ask them to take them down? They won't be charged if they take them down. Oh my gosh! So it's cheaper just to leave yep. them. Yep. <laughs> but in twenty years, is it going to be cheaper to have left them? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But we're going through this whole ridiculous process with them. Okay, so we're done with street lights. Yeah, just okay. Uh, town hall. So we can zero out internet access, right? If you move every, because yeah, because we moved it. Yeah. So I'm not writing the comments on here. I'm just moving the numbers. Um, Oh, yeah, see, he is also zeroed here. Okay. So, okay, so, oh, heat was zeroed. Uh, and sorry, we level fund, we're going to say zero to electricity and heat. Um, computer services. Um, we're not touching salaries yet. Not yet. Not yet. That, that's a separate discussion. Yeah. So he, um, so he is at a thousand for five months. But really, we we hadn't gotten gotten into the um, electric. Although this is all oil. Yes. Yeah. So 
So telephone. Yeah. This is the portion. I, I believe this is where. Yeah, that's good. The, we'll the board be, selected. We'll be over spent in this one based upon through November. Mm -hmm. And with the increase. The increase doesn't take place until the April. Well, right. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But that one could be if the board decides to merge it all into one account for my tell would be the one to increase as well as, you know, so I, I went ahead and did um, what we spent or the town has spent overall the full bill for the last since the fiscal year mm -hmm. and currently it's at six hundred and sixty five dollars and thirty cents a month for my tell and so i then did the remaining estimate which would be um a total of eight thousand dollars plus considering the increase of 10 percent that will be effective in may or april or may i got a number around eight thousand eight hundred i would me personally you know maybe make it a clean even number nine thousand just to be sure but you know it's it went from 648.76 one month 648.79 the following month 648.79 the following month 650.109 the following 665 so I don't know where, you know, that bigger leap went through, um, you know, a little over $10 in, in one month. Could it have been a late fee? It, it, I mean, I, I guess I would have to go back and look really good at the bill, but I don't think so. Yeah. Um, but certainly we'll look at it. It's the only month that there was, a, unless I'm missing an in-between bill in here. But even still, it does, even if it's a dollar or a cent, it, it seems to be creeping up. And then the additional 10% increase. Um, now, this was set up, wasn't this the, during COVID? My town? Yeah. Yes. So we had money. It was set up in 2020, 2021. Yeah. So did we, get, did we use any COVID money? Or, you know, there were all these, oh, and, you know, you'll be able to forward your phones to. I know. So. Yeah. Incentives at the time, but then it comes. So, with but do we need all of those perks? I think we use the CARES money. Mm hmm CARES Act. So I, I just wonder if, you know, did we get a, um, a mid-size nice sedan <laughs> when we really didn't need that? Um, should we look at Can that? The website. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the website we have really is good. It's just outdated. Um, so we don't need to go to a higher step. We don't. The it, it, it makes that one. zero sense. But okay. um, so I wonder if in the phone, if there's an option to, you know, I think it's really good that it sends the email voicemails. Um, how many people forward their phones to a soft to to one of these phones? Um, I do once in a while. But, but does not every written, no. line yeah. have to have that? Do all departments use the their no they don't so mm -mm. maybe there's it, some it's being used very basic mm -hmm. and it has a lot of options so mm -hmm. like you said yeah there might be ways to decrease it i just find it and again i don't know what verizon was prior to this but I find it to be a lot of money yeah the verizon i remember it was just that those were all plug-in phones this is all internet based right so yeah we lose internet we lose that yeah. but you know so and you had more services with it than you and just quickly yeah, looking at the other departments there's nine thousand dollars in these other departments for phones on top of this mm -hmm. because every the way it's because it was down, broken out it was broken out so when they submit the bill it'll say grand total but then it'll say library highway police coa Town hall offices, but nine thousand would cover the total bill for all my town. If if going based on this and increasing it, it sounds like for me. I think my math I did what would be around nine thousand dollars. And we had talked about owning the my town bill, not expecting departments. So or... to do really quick math, if we even bumped it up to say six sixty five times ten percent, yeah, times ten percent. Because that was the 665, 731.50 times 12. 
then times 12 is 8,778. 9,000. 9,000. And then I at think least. we should try to see if we can look at the bells and whistles and if they're really necessary. Because yeah. it even offers um, basically what Zoom does. Yeah. So I think the Board of Health was the, one of the only ones that used it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we don't need that if we've got Zoom. Right. Yeah, and then you can eliminate, and it's easier because now I have like a spreadsheet with all the different accounts for library, yeah. highway, whoever is getting charged and, and you know, plucking it in Crazy. and breaking out the bill for the accountant in five different ways and figure, dividing all the taxes and surcharges to split it according to their usage. So it'd be just so much easier if it was owned by one. Mm -hmm. And like Paul had said, to all taxpayers' money, it's mm -hmm. all going to phone services. So it, it makes a lot more sense and it's easier and cleaner. And we said we were getting rid of internet, right? Because we moved it to, we moved it to uh, the other line item. Mm -hmm. Oops. So telephone okay. 9,000. Yeah. Lease agreements, is that the copier? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it is. So 239, 1100. And that is 79. And we're locked into a contract, but let's just do 80 to be even in 79 and change. 80 times 12, 60. Nine sixty. So what do we have here? Eleven hundred. Yeah. yeah. So could we go to a thousand? Or do we think there's going to be any other lease? Unless there's any increase on their numbers. Do we pay for toner separate? We do. Mm -hmm. So we're, we potentially could be printing more. And I, but I pay for the toner usually out of office supplies. Okay. okay. Typically. <clears throat> so, okay. Yeah, just level funded. Yeah. And then computer services we zeroed, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, repair and maintenance. Yep. And that also, um, anything maintenance wise, lights, fixtures, really has been coming out of there. But do, I wonder if we've deferred maintenance. Um, and you think, yeah. <laughs> um, I also will. You know, depending on how the office supplies uh, will do like the cleaning products, because that's for maintenance of the town hall mm -hmm. out of that account um, versus. I mean, the um, custodian is reusing paper towels. Yes. Um, well, it's bamboo paper towels, just to be clear. In 2021, we had 12, six. Yeah, why would we go down? So we went down. Yeah the cost of maintaining this old building is should only be going up. Um, yeah, so we went from 12.6 to 9.488. To 7,500. 7, I'd go back to nine. Yeah. And that would be for Repairs, maintenance in the building, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Office supplies, 10,000. So this is another area that, you know, some boards, departments may have an expense line, some don't. Yeah. Um, and I'd, I'd like to touch base on yeah. that only because I know that based on what I've been told from prior employees or current employees at one point each department had their own expense line mm -hmm. again one at one point they came all together um which could be tricky because if someone orders something then they have to give me the invoice or i can just give them the account number which is not a big deal it, you know i've done both ways um but i know that if you when you guys move forward i think the board of assessors put in for an individual expense line this year to be able to do their own um so again does the board want to kind of do it all in one and provide these account numbers but then there's so many you know when there's a lot of fingers in it you don't you, you don't keep the same track or create their own individual expense lines or supply lines 
I like the idea of um, a board having an idea of what its uh, costs are. Um, in a board of health, I've been bringing envelopes. I've been bringing stamps, um, buying a stapler. Um, and so, you know, but that should have been part of the operation of the board of health. Um, and so I think like we should be budgeting that knowing that there's a normal co course of business. And I feel like unless, and I know it's all the taxpayers money, but the town clerk doesn't have an expense line. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and so what's the, the what's the, ex the what's the expected costs? Like what would be the harm in saying this is the expected costs and then we just take it maybe from this one and it gets allocated um, to the individual board, like the board of assessors. I mean, using Amazon is easy. Um, it's just, there was a, a communication transition um, and printing invoices, not printing invoices, you're responsible. I think that, in my opinion, that was the issue that I had, not knowing. Right, and I think since I started, everybody had the ability to print their own, but prior, yeah, it was. Lost. It had to be approved, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. it had to get printed, yeah. and then and th yeah. that's why there was a lot of cleanup with mm -hmm. Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, I think John had given full access yes. for Thank each you. individual or each board or yeah. department to have their their access. The ones that were granted, yeah. anyways. Yeah. Um, but I know with the town clerk's office, there was an issue, and I'm using her as an example because the previous town clerk and myself spent many hours with Amazon on the phone. Somehow her yeah. email address had, I don't even know what the error was, but she couldn't order her individual stuff. Um, so I've always ordered same thing with for the board of assessors. Uh, I know that the prior uh, tax collector had access, but now the new one doesn't and she hasn't asked for anything. But so it's just setting up the access and who has it and you know again it's all one pot though so i for the ones that do have access i try to be mindful of you know we only have a, a, a small budget so as it depletes mm -hmm. we need the payments to go mm -hmm. to replenish the account back up because we've been in the situation where we've had zero available credit and we need to because i bought order. six chairs <laughs> <laughs> so until that bill got paid yeah. it, you know um but yeah i i i think um it's it's okay to have the responsibility on the board or department because to rely on your position like failure to plan is not your emergency um and so if they are empowered um it's up to them um it's just that we don't need to be buying reams of paper for the copy machine unless you're printing you know you're printing um, newsletters. Right. And that would be kind of realistic to fund that out of your budget, not out of the town hall. So usual. And we just, it's funny that you say that because we just had a situation mm -hmm. recently that there was no paper right. left. And because I, I literally take one ream at a time and I tend to use the printer that's in the Board of Selectmen's office primarily, no one. In, in by no one's fault by any means, but it wasn't notified or I didn't see it either. And then all of a sudden it's like we needed paper and we're like, oh, we literally have no paper, yeah. none. So I think police or someone gave us a read yeah, and I had to put in a quick order. Yeah. And, you know, so I got a couple boxes just to be yeah. safe now. But, you know, and I did send out an email asking for everybody, if you're going to use it and you notice that there's we're low a courtesy, yeah. hey, just an FYI, yeah. we're running low because that now also falls on my responsibility to make sure just the same with toner and so. But we know like the town clerk, I think it's what, 700 households um three that's pieces of paper happens. so that's 2100 that's four four reams like in theory they could buy a case 
under their expense line. Right. And that I think that that's what had happened in, you know, again, not anyone's fault. But last time I had seen it, there was at least four or five rooms. And then all of a sudden I went back and I think I was trying to help a member of COA yeah. print something. And all of a sudden it was, Go. oh, wait, yeah. oh, we ran out of paper. Oh, sure. We have over here. And then I'm like, oh, no, wait, we have no paper. <laughs> so you're saying give the Board of Assessors and the town clerk a line item, say, thousand in each <clears throat> take that two thousand off of this number. If, if 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 maribel has been funding their expenses then yes in theory we should be reducing this that's what i was going to yeah. say as long as that's been yeah. going on yeah because if that's us alone right right mm -hmm. right and the board of assessors did ask me if i had uh um like a list of things that i've ordered for them particularly to get an idea but I, Honestly, there was nothing that ever stood out besides toner, which is the most expensive because the paper is community supply, right? So they really only would ask for primarily just a toner. But I mean, I know that once in a while you need, you know, a special binder or let them buy um, pens or paper. Yeah, I mean, and same thing with the town clerk. And then it became like my responsibility to get everybody calendars and, yeah. I, I, you know, everybody should be able to pick what they want and. But plan for it. I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the only thing I was aware of is like the assessors have special forms for like abatements and stuff right. that they have to actually order those. That paper. Or even envelopes. <clears throat> right, they don't have an expense. So, they didn't, so, so when we ordered a whole bunch of the envelopes. The police department also has special specialized form. forms that yep. they have to order. They can't just print them all. Right. But with the envelopes, Board of Health paid for their Because we have an expense envelope. line. But, you know, out of this, yeah. I had to pay, you know, the selectmen's ones, yeah. the town clerk, the town... Treasurer. Uh, treasurer and the board of assessors, yeah. which again is fine in there, but if they have their own, then they can budget accordingly. And it's important for them to know when they need envelopes and their special paper and again, their planning. Okay. So, yeah, I, I think we look at that 10,000 and then make sure all the boards have a expense line for, for expenses. Okay. Okay with that, Lucy. Yep, I'm all set. Okay with that. Yep. So we're gonna we're basically holding on office supplies until we. Mm -hmm. get so we'll leave it as is for now. Yep. yep. Ambulance twenty seven oh five. Is that ever gonna go away? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because we have to pay. Rutland. That's our fee to. Okay. But it's not settling out the two hundred and something dollars anymore, or that was the ambulance stabilization. Yeah, no, that has nothing to do with this. Yeah. So twenty-seven five, and that's what it is. It didn't go up. One of the two years. Wow. No. Again, a fantastic deal. So, I hope that is not listening. Dispatch. That went up. Mm -hmm. All right. And these, again, keep in mind, are not concrete numbers. Um, I know that uh, Deputy Moriarty? Moriarty is always looking to see if there's anything that he can add to decrease. But as it says here, the population numbers have not been received, so it could go up a little bit. I mean, not deputy. I'm sorry, director. I'm like, it starts with a D. My apologies, director. Yes. <laughs> okay. And will we pay that once or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So potentially 63 to 67. Mm -hmm. So it went from 52 to 63. So. I mean, 70 wouldn't be beyond the, mm -mm. what it's been going up. So, it all depends on how much he gets in state mm -hmm. uh, grant but, money. But if we at least budgeted 70. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, we have not received the invoice for fiscal 24 because he's always oh, still waiting 25. to see if it can even be less than what was you know, um, assessed at. So sometimes we'll get the invoice and it's less than what the number it says. Yeah. Yeah. Which is nice. So we're good with 70 for now? Yeah. Okay. 
And what I'll do is I think we should copy all of this or just not use the final one. Yeah. I did it for them yeah, yeah. so they can just see it. Yeah, we can just add them to I didn't know if they had I think we can add them to, to this it, so um, or we just copy this. Yeah. It's just that we want to make sure that they're not making changes over there and I can delete it by all means and just give them, you know, have them have access to it. I just figured if they had met or want to see what was being received, yep. Yep. Um, they had access to it as well. Actually, yeah, they have access to this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, they do. Yeah. What you said, Grant. Greenways. Thousand. But they put in, I saw the letter. It's right behind you. 1300. Um, 11. Well, they do that every year. Oh, okay. But we still Thank find. You. Thank you. Boys. Okay. We give 1000. One, okay. No, they requested $1,133. Okay. 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 Last year, they requested 1100 but it's a donation. Yeah. And I, I, although I think the townspeople would support whatever they asked for, I think it's um, still um, nice that we find the thousand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. So I have to move. Uh, what happened here? I know. He, I, I was messing with that one too. It's almost like it's blocked off because it's just the flat. I don't. I couldn't figure that one out. Maybe. maybe. But then it shows it as a mm -hmm. deficit. Mm -hmm. Come back to that one. <laughs> yeah, does he have it? Um, Restricted? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, because oh, he blanked it out. That's all. Um, yeah, so I'll just, there we go. But then, what is this special article? Because it was as an article, instead of making it um, a budget, a budget yeah. that way they get it. Because when it was a budget, they would have to send us the invoices and we had of like bills that they wanted paid yep. and deduct. When it's an article, they just get the thousand straight out from the beginning. And so are we going to still do the same thing then? Yeah. As an article. As an article. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this would be right then. So zero for that, but a thousand for the article. Mm hmm. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next is cemetery. <clears throat> Thirty one hundred dollar increase. And that's did you the building right? inspector? Cemetery. Cemetery. It's, own. it's on the main, so okay. you have to no get out of Port of Lockman. You don't have that one, Don? Yeah, I got it. I oh, okay. skipped over it. Yeah. Well, where, where are we going? Building inspector. 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 That seems reasonable. Yes. Yep, that's fine. Now, is the telephone, does he have a cell phone? We pay a portion of his cell. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't but think he hasn't so. gotten anything. Yeah, no, he, he, because he, I asked him and he's like, I've just left that alone. I don't know what that, that's. Because he, he used to be able to get um, calls on it. Hmm. But he doesn't give his no, cell phone. No, not his cell phone. He does not. But he returns calls on it. Oh, okay. He blocks his number, so he yeah. He uses it. Yeah. But it's, do you, does he have to submit a bill or is that more like an additional stipend? When we hired him, we said we would cover 150 bucks towards his. Which isn't a lot for no. a year. No. So he, he hasn't. He didn't think he was going to use it a lot either. Uh -huh. Yeah. But he couldn't he just put in an expense uh, voucher for that account number? Yeah, for one hundred fifty. And he does have an office expense. Yeah, he does. Which he's not really using. No, once in a while when he gets his. 
performance. performance. He does. Yeah. Yes. That's so I point. just ordered at the end of the other fiscal year, so it'll carry him through. But his permit, his uh, forms that are three layers, yeah. and yeah. there we order them in um, Westboro or something yeah. like that. Yeah. But it's, so it's four twenty six and twenty three. Um, we think it'll still be 700, close to 700. It went up for okay. some reason. Okay. Um, Printing is going up everywhere. Yeah. And he does have to get new books for recertifications and stuff like that. So he said he would use codes for the new codes. Yeah. And so he'll use some of this budget or the current budget's funds and then mm -hmm. the remaining from the new fiscal year's funds. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cemetery. Um, Ninety-nine hundred to thirteen thousand. That's for the maintenance. Yep. It didn't. Was there a special? There wasn't a special town. Or there wasn't an article or anything to increase. No. Okay. It was a request. Uh, I remember reading. Yeah, I remember from the accountant that. because we had gone over what was allotted for two years in a row now. And she sold us to get three quotes. Mm -hmm. We got, well, we got people that mainly didn't want to do it. Right. So we had a lot of non replies and we had one reply from the gentleman that is doing it. He didn't want to raise it, but I said, but you've been going over because of the weather and everything with him to keep it up. So. We settled on 1300 and the more rain we have, the more grass we're going to have. Yeah. So, and when it's a drought, you don't have to worry about it too much, but nobody wanted to do the trimming around the headstones. Yeah. And he's the only one that would be willing to do it. So I went with his cost. Something to think but, about. Um, I mean, it may change eventually in the future. We have a position we're replacing. Yeah. And we did just spend $18,000 on a lawnmower. Yeah. So maybe the highway can cover that. Mm -hmm. But would they be willing to trim around all well, they have to. That's the part that takes so much time. It's the, the finish. Tight, and the space is tight. So the the space is but if they tight. did the, the main thoroughfares and then... I mean, that wouldn't take long with a nice lawnmower. Right. Um, and then they went back and did just around the stones. Hmm. I don't know. I just think we can have our people do this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for cheaper. It's been said every year that I've been on the well, let's do it. <laughs> that um, <laughs> it has never changed about not hiring somebody to do it. Yeah. I get, my you suggestion can... would be is wait until you get the new person. That's what I was going to say. But we wouldn't be able to do it for this budget year. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. this is Leave this in. Yeah. Yeah. Leave it as it is. Yeah. You know, and then <clears throat> yeah. when the new superintendent comes on board, we'll discuss that. We can discuss with him and, and how he wants to handle it with his workers or if he hires a fourth person to do it. Yeah. It takes a day. I can't put down specific hours to do each cemetery. Mm -hmm. yep. Next is COA. Oh, I think we zeroed that out. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we added a zero, you mean? <laughs> Probably should. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, oh, good, the budget is done, right? First thing was an increase in the wages. Yeah, the wages were put in there. Um, they'll have to be backed up, held out until we decide what wages are going to be. So it does say down below wages separately for the okay. entire town. So we'll put that in that. All right. So on, for the purposes of this, should I put it back to the ten thousand? Mm -hmm. Yep. Ten thousand three hundred. Three hundred. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Because there is at least an explanation. $120 increase for nutrition program. Is that the $3 or the 50 cent increase? Or? I think so. But that does go to the elder services. 
But isn't that the person who's eating that pays that 50 cent increase? So what does the COA pay for the nutrition program? This year it was 2100. And I was told that actually that's a donation. Right. They're all donations. Yeah. They can't tell you what to pay. They're all donations. Right. They're all suggestions. And there are towns around us that don't. And I think that's disgraceful that yeah. they don't. Yeah, and especially when they have more money than we do. Right. Um, so we paid 2,900, I say 1698 in 23. Uh, you know why? I think the bill did not come in until August. Oh. I believe, or the donation letter did not come in until August, so it was after. July. I remember one year I asked all year for how much we owed, and they, they never sent anything. So that's why, so the 2072, is that even going to be in, is that last year's rolled in, or? No, last year I think I had put in for 2400 mm -hmm. yep. So if this is paying last year's already, then we're going to be over... We, did, we didn't owe 2400 though, because the bill was actually 2100 when I got it in the end of June. 2072 yeah. Okay. Okay. Usually you pay for it in July. We usually get the bill at the end of June. And that's one of the first bills you pay in the new fiscal year. Yeah. yeah. But if, if they're on track, the if year. they're on track with what they're doing. So do we, do we sort of go to 2520? I would go to 2520. Okay. Because we had four hundred dollars left over mm -hmm. from last year. So there is an office supply, mm -hmm. and I think if they're printing the Herald, mm -hmm. it makes sense to increase that two fifty yeah. for paper, a case of paper. Well, she also explained in in the thing with their new printer downstairs. You know, she figured. So many cartridges and, and the supplies, so mm -hmm. they can run it's that. Be yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I'm not sure 450 will be enough. Then will it? We're, what I think Claire went through this with the idea that we really are an unknown at this point because we have new equipment, we have, you know, new expenses. Mm -hmm. So I think she was guesstimating based on what we've kind of done so far, but we aren't up and fully operating. Uh, with the new printer. Well, we know a case again. of paper is $58. $58. I, I got that one. Got <laughs> non rushed. <laughs> non rushed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, can you, always the big one. can you use any yeah, of the revolving she... account for things like that? They can. So, right. if expenses exceeded the 450 right. the yeah. revolving account. Right. With how many heralds are you printing at a time per month? Um, Yesterday I printed 40, and those were for ones that are going to be mailed. I have not heard from who normally does it, whether how many they put out at the library right. or the post, uh, office. post office. So I have I printed what I was asked for yesterday. I think but it's I don't, usually like 80. Yeah, I'm not sure what that. it was. So that may be a, something for tomorrow. I'll find out. Yeah. Right. Because okay. we used to print out about 400 a month. When we were mailing them all out, and sometimes it was four ten mm -hmm. or something like that. So outreach. Um, recreation. Well, recreation is level funding. Did you level fund? Um, oh, okay. Transportation. That's level funded. Yeah. Okay. Outreach, and again, I guess with outreach, is there possibility for a revolving account to yes address yeah. some of that? I just think that your revolving account isn't being spent yet. So, if you're going to do new programs, right. that's the perfect way to use it. Right. Right. So you keep it at twenty-seven or level fund in it. So I, I was going down the line of level funding it mm -hmm. um, at the 2300. But yeah. what's the reason given? Uh, 
Row nine. I uh, have used up donated supplies, plan more events next year, more events to buy and replace donated supplies. But I think that's really the whole idea of, around that revolving account is for more programming. The programming part of it, yep. but anything with the programming, perhaps not. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's food or whatever that goes along with the programming. Programming yeah. to me is the speakers or the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Yeah. And the donation account is um, also there, right? Somewhere. Um, but that would be in there. It's not side. in the. It's not right. Not part of the printed out yeah. with the budget ever. Uh -huh. Same with the um, grant, yeah. and same with the revolving account. Usually, is printed separately. Right, because it's not part of the operation mm -hmm. budget. Right. So there's a lot of money out there. Yeah. What was the um, proposed um, increase for salaries out of curiosity? Do you remember what that was about before I deleted it? $20 an hour. The increase was twenty one eighty. dollars It was another twenty one eighty. dollars And so right now without that, it looks like there's an increase of $24.50. Twenty two forty five. Um, so um, with the, the use of the donation account and the revolving account, I wonder if some tempered growth in spending could be possible. Mm -hmm. um, I think these are, again, guesstimates um, because we have not been using those accounts right. fully because yeah. we just don't know where we are. Yeah. We didn't know where right, we were now, you, you now know. we know where we are. And yeah. can, now that we know, we can uh, start using them more appropriately. So yeah. I, I would propose reducing that um, outreach to uh, level funding. Mm -hmm. Only because it's not risking sacrificing any potential current right um and if there's a new program there's money there mm -hmm. even in the grant potentially sure um it should be yeah mm -hmm. the only thing is we're not quite sure because right. what governor healy shorted the state budget already at 275 million dollars and the first thing to top of her list was reduction of funds for Council of, uh, of Aging. Mm -hmm. I noted that. Okay. And, and that could affect the grant money. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will. That would be one of the first it could. things. Gets because they raised it this year per head mm -hmm. of your seniors right. in town. Mm -hmm. right. Whether they, Then what are they going to do? Lower it again per head? But we could always do a special town meeting before the annual town meeting mm -hmm. if that happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it needs to be level funded, no matter what. I think um, we can't go backwards. Um, no. But and I think we have the um, we have the two hundred thousand in free cash that could, yep. if needed. So are we good? Um, yep. Level funding mm -hmm. for now. That item. So that's twenty three hundred. Still in 1845 before the potential salary. All right. Conservation. Level. Which one? Conservation. Oh, conservation. Level funded. Right? Level funded. Yeah. We have not had a meeting this year because we've had no applications this year, believe it or not. Huh. With all the building that went on in town and like that, nobody was impacting the wetlands. Nice. It was nice. Next is emergency management. That, that's level funded too. He's usually level funded, yeah. Okay. Income. Okay.
I, I just, it, it may not dances. be popular, but with all of the work that we're asking that group to do in previous groups and the stipends that other um, active committees get, is there a reason why FinCom hasn't had a stipend in the past? I mean, has it ever had a stipend? It's never had. No, I, I think they keep the finance committee away from money. Plain and simple, they, they keep it out so that they, they are a separate entity with no involvement. The, yeah, they're the trying finance. to be entirely autonomous. Yeah, yeah. And it's it just has. that they put so, in a lot of work. I know they do. Yeah, and, they do. And we're, we only have, what, three members? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was talking to the accountant, and she said that, that typically FinCom does not get, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a, a law, but yeah, that they don't get. It's, okay. it's just a look. Well, and because they, uh, no offense, but seem to be the tightest um, with spending. And maybe they're like, well, if we're going to say we shouldn't increase, then we shouldn't be asking for money. Um, but I do think that uh, they do I mean, a lot of work. Their, their charge under the town bylaws is even more than just financial. They're actually supposed to review everything. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they, they don't want to be charged with being biased. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that was a four hundred seventy-five dollar yeah. increase reduction. Yeah. Oh, reduction. I'm sorry. All right. Fire right. department. There are some increases there. I was just checking. Me sure. too. I forgot. Yeah, some reductions and some increases. So where his in proposed increases are on salary. Okay, salaries is not for increases in pay. It's just volume of um, firefighters. Because right. um, he didn't do the salaries. Yeah, so that I think that makes sense. Um, I think 25 is a good number. And I think he's already said that's kind of where he's at now. Yeah. Um, and we were at what eight or something in 2000, 2019. Uh, I think he's at three or four when he started. Okay, okay. Yeah, it was. It there was, were people on the books, but yeah, yeah, um, exactly. Do not. I think he figures when he started, he had three. Telephone went up. Building is getting numerous heat and AC issues. So he's got yep. a building maintenance. That's just for his side. Yeah, each side has their own business yeah. maintenance. Yeah. It's because they split. Highway has one side, and they have the other. But yet, we've got a, a, a municipal building mm -hmm. that does things that I feel like building maintenance should be under for that building. Be one yeah. thing for maintenance of all the buildings. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? Uh, I know uh, Durant sent us a letter. Um, if we're looking for earmarks, maybe it's to look at a um, heating for our municipal building, an upgraded. Talk about the garage, the highway. Yeah, they've got both sides. They've had new furnaces. They just put a new system in the, so uh, says, for the offices. 
numerous heat and AC issues. Yeah, they had a problem. This the year. AC was just, you had just spent $5,000 on the AC. We did. They had well, he's big... looking for $575 more. And this is so not a lot. Oh, no, I, yeah, that's yeah. a thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. 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 So yeah. So it's, capital, yeah, it's not really. There's no maintenance in the. No, there isn't. Municipal building. Which, that's why they can't pay to have the lights fixed. Which there should be something to, if a light breaks. Well, they each have maintenance accounts. Yeah. So they can take it out of there. Okay. But the building itself does not have maintenance. Yeah. That's why they have it. Yeah, yeah. Still don't agree with it. Yeah. <clears throat> so could we take the 3,800 from them and uh, whatever from highway and move it over to municipal? Yeah. Then who oversees it? The selectmen? Like for their bills for anything? Do you know what I mean? Well, they just turn their bills in like right. normal. And we just use that account number. Will we do anything? Let's talk to them. Mm -hmm. They may have ideas. Other ideas. Mm -hmm. That'll be part of their discussion night mm -hmm. with us. Yeah. And I think the uniforms increase is appropriate, only five hundred. So he's really only increasing for more personnel that he has. And I think that's worthy of. Um, well, you want people to respond or you don't. Yeah, right. And if they're going to respond, you're going to pay for them. And mm -hmm. we're not paying them. So we're paying them, what, $19 or $20? They're, they're a little bit more than the police. Yeah, they are. Yeah, 20 but something. Still, they're not yep. comparable. So I support their proposed budget. Yeah, I don't have an issue with this. And just to remember that he does have a capital plan. Oh, wow. He's Thank had you. one since the first day yeah. he came on board. It's, it's going to be running cool. out in 26 yeah. with all his suggestions. I'll, I'll make copies and put them in there. So okay. we're going to He's need to see what box. else. But they were like a three-year proposed. The radios in the Jaws of Life is currently in with Barry. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep, I saw that. So that's not in here then? No. Okay. Yeah, because this is in the old book. Okay. Didn't, from didn't last year. they do something with the Jaws of Life already? We got one with that truck we got from Western. Right, I thought yeah. so. So can we cross that office capital project or does he want another one as well? I thought he ended up I, with two. I think he's got one from Wester and one that we had that's old. Yeah. So that's the one he wants to replace. But I know that one accident, they had to use both. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that one was already radios. accomplished pretty good. Replacement radios? That's, that's in the grant. Replacement engine? And these two are, have been done. done. <laughs> the one from Lester and then the new fire truck. Yeah, that that one. One. We want to get another one? Why not? Okay. Replacement tanker, but we can take yes. that off, can't we? Because yeah. this is the tanker. Yeah. So we're doing so those good. two are eliminated. Yeah. So we're moving ahead with this project. That's mm -hmm. good. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, sorry. That's good. It's highway. A 6,454 increase. Oh, did he have the numbers in? Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. Did I change this one? I don't know because on my, the one okay. that I printed, yeah. it's zero. So, yeah, yeah. yeah you must. Have. So, it's a $6,000 increase. And um, I do think that we should consider level funding the salary i mean um funding the salary as is today at least putting it in there because when we 
end up hiring for that person, we may not have enough money to fund the, the position in 2025. I would fund it at 76,575. Yeah. Going into FY25. Because whoever the new person is going to have a contract. And we don't know what kind of experience yeah. they have, yeah. where they're going to fall on the chart. How do you fund if it's over the 76,575? We'd have to go to special and fund it. So even if you did a c contract, it has to be funded. So they would be paid, but how do they get paid before the special? No. If we agree to a contract, yeah. it's got to be within the money that we've allocated. Yeah, yeah. If it goes over, then we're going to have to go to a special, so the contract is contingent upon town funding. Okay. If the town turns it down, we go back to the negotiations. Yeah. The 10000 that he got is included in that seventy six. No. 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 Okay. And I think if you look at other towns uh, and what they're offering for positions, I, I just don't think 76 we'd ever recruit anybody. It's going to be difficult because we're not a DPW. Mm -hmm. We are simply highway. a highway. Mm -hmm. That may also do cemeteries and... Uh, if you're going to start including them, then you're going to have to look at it. Yeah. We need a baseline here, yeah. but... Yeah. There's probably going to be more added to it later with a new. And potentially, we could be, we would be hopefully negotiating a contract before July 1. That would be nice. And, and so maybe there would be time in May or June to, uh, could you amend the budget at the, um, at the annual town meeting if the contract is finalized? I would rather have. A special. Ahead of the town meeting. That's what I mean. Ahead of the oh, I see. Meeting. So do a special if we had enough time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just think as we talk about this next Monday, we might. Yep. Okay. Um, so yeah, for six thousand dollars, I think that's um, reasonable. I just I do wonder though, how much was turned back in free cash from this um, department? And are some of the level funding or some of them high last year? I don't know. Where they oh, could. Yeah. Um, I don't remember. I, I thought it was, I thought there was a lot. Um, well, we didn't use any free cash to balance snow and ice or anything. Yeah. So you had to have turned something back. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, full-time wages, that seems to be much lower um, at this point in no, through November. Is it because there's, oh, snow and ice overtime doesn't come out of that, right? Like plowing? Overtime does. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah. So we haven't hit the winter months yet for seeing that jump. Nope. Okay. No. Okay. It's not winter yet. <laughs> it's still coming. Yeah. <laughs> but this is only through November. Yeah. So yeah. I don't even know if we had a plow. That's it. In, in November yet. So, so the one seventy three may very well not be enough. It's a possibility. And so he's not even increased that. Um, well, again, wait till he comes in and talk to him about what he's put in here. Yeah. But I, you know, like I said, I wouldn't make any major changes in this department with a new department head coming in. What's the the signs and streetlights? Does, oh. mm -hmm. does he give a comment on that? No. Oh, wait. No, signs 13. Is that 13? Yeah, he spent tw uh, twelve grand on uh, traffic line painting. Yep, and uh, new signs and posts. And th the signs, for example, when Mrs. Uh, Turnbull yeah, requested, you know, those kind yeah. of signs. That's it's a what... huge jump in steel costs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why. He, yeah, he went up. Yeah, it, it, 
we also should remember that um, this they did give us extra money um, for like line that we could use for line painting, and yeah. they're, they're budgeting yeah. that for yeah. the next fiscal year too. Yeah, that's why I said we can talk yeah. to him a little bit more yeah. about that. Okay. And road details, is that police? Because okay. I know in Tree Warden, it's listed as police, which I always wondered if we don't require police for details. No, are we, the chief. So we're limited. Oh, the chief of the chief town of can determine? Yes. But doesn't it, isn't it to the advantage of the chief and his department to require it? We have a policy, detailed policy. It's totally up to him. Under the powers of 97A, it's up to him anyway. Okay. So, um, one thing I don't see is why we put that in here. Can we put it in the uh, tree warden? Tree warden. Yeah, it's in tree warden. Why isn't that under the PD? He controls it. Right. Why isn't he paying for it? So take these two line items out, take the four grand between the two of them, mm -hmm. create a new line item in the PD for town details. Oh, is it only for municipal details? It's for the town. It's not for... Oh, not in the mass electric. Okay. The, the chief doesn't determine, or does determine he? Determine safety. Okay. Okay. He can tell the grid. You, you need to have an officer. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if they're on... Uh, a road like um, Stone Road, and they're doing work. He he usually does the main roads. Okay. Yeah. You know, there's no union. There's no union contract. That yeah. Says every road. Yeah. So we don't worry about that. So we're just gonna hold this for future conversation, or are we gonna move the road details? Again, I would like the department heads. Okay. okay. Put some input into it. Yeah, when they come to talk to us, they'll have their opportunity to put in their two cents for us. Historical Commission, level funded. Level funded. And and they may not even have used the twenty five hundred this year. No, that Cemetery Commission. Library. No, no more about that Monday. Yes. Some issues there. <laughs> yeah, I, they can't recruit. Nope. It, it's going to be very hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But aren't they the aren't the trustees the one that negotiate the the rate and the contract and the hours and it just has to be budgeted. It's going to be budgeted, and then we do the budgeting. Yeah. 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 So it's, we set the rate. Yeah. It's kind of funny that. Yeah. They yeah. can say, this is the contract, this is the amount. But where's the money? Where's the money? Yeah. yeah. That's us. Yeah. <sighs> and, the, and the proposed increases are reasonable for electricity, yeah. telephone, and minor for CW Mars. But the wages are, the library wages are going to be the issue. Yep. Because that's only at 19 hours or something. Yep. Okay. Um, and, and is their phone separate from? Mm -mm. Mytel? No. Yeah. So, but they pay their own Mytel? I pay it. Okay. So, so I have this, they have a line item, just like highway does yeah. too, but it's, I submit it all. So, so when, they say, I haven't seen a bill, just like council on aging, right? I have, and this was handed to me right from when I started. Um, so we can zero yeah. this out then, right? If the board is going to take over the fold, yes. Because I thought we already did that. Yep. So this would be zero then. Okay. They just save money. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then technology. That's the level funded. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. Mm 
until they get a new director. Yeah, because things are going to change. Because they don't have <clears throat> their all of their um, computers are not like um, Microsoft. Right. Um, so they have they wouldn't have the ability to use SharePoint. Right. So she sent they me her have budget. Like a laptop or something. She sent me her budget in a PDF file. Yeah. Well, she had done it on a Google Doc, and then she sent it to me in a PDF. So I had to pluck in the numbers that I sent to back to her with getting her approval because I want to make sure and writing her stuff. And she said, "Yeah, I looked." Yeah, I, I really feel like they should be budgeting a. Um, a, a device that can communicate with the rest of the town. Mm. The high number on the wages is going to be about 15 grand. More? But um, what's the what's the 24, what would the 24 budget have been Mm -hmm. 15 hours? Yeah. I'm assuming it would be comparable to whatever that is. When I talked to her, she said the uh, building is open 29 hours a week. Yep. Okay, so that's 29 at hours, that. 29 hours. Yep. So that's additional 10 hours mm -hmm. at 31.25 an hour. So just the coverage with the 19 and a half hours. Is 31. Oh. 31941. Yeah. Okay, so that So it's 3150. Yeah. 16250 additional. Yep. I mean, they have certifications there. So the total will be 48191 mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. director's salary. And so we'll wait until Monday. Yeah. Talk to trustees and her. Yeah. I mean, I I think it should at least be Starting at the thirty-one dollars an hour, even at the nineteen, well, at some point, it requires a master's in library science. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's the the bottom requirement. Yeah, yeah. you don't even have to have experience yet. Just um, yeah, that alone. I mean, yeah. so we, we've been lucky for the past ten years. Yep. Remember the years we only worked with volunteers in the library? Yes. But was it considered a certified library? Don't they lose certification? They will now. Yeah. They will now. But yeah. they, they never lost really. Yeah. Because of that. Uh, moderator stipend 300. So is that on the board of selectmen? No, there should be one. Is there? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's just a stipend, so it doesn't change. But okay. 300. Does he need sure. a raise? Sure. <laughs> Put that. They're not there. Okay, I'll add it. Planning board. Yep. Level funded. Yep. Yeah, I'm like. Planning board. No. No. We'll add them. If I had a little thing, I could add it right here. <laughs> Police. 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 Yes. Okay. Well, I'll go add those really quick. Wow. <clears throat> there are increases right. here. Okay. It is being recorded, yeah. Oh, okay. If you want me to add them? Yeah. Yeah. If you don't mind. No. I'm assuming the salary is contract. Yep, it says that. Yes, it is, yeah. Yeah. So does he explain? No. He gives a couple of different breakdowns, but there's no explanation on why. Yeah, the part time. The part time. What's like, the funding that's not currently? Right. Does he have a separate police department FY25 request document? Does he make a case? Let's see. Time, yeah, right here. Part time patrol requests for FY25 yeah. hourly rate is without an increase. 
Okay, so that's level funding there. Sick time coverage. Okay, let's see. Is he looking to create a new position? Let's say 70, and one proposal is 72 hours a week. That could be the overnight. Yeah, so it's not clear that he's looking to add an uh, overnight position, but I think having spoken to him, And the alternative one is 52 hours a week, which I still think is open. It, it, it's a sure, I think it went to three o'clock or something. Okay. So it's, this would be either 48, how much a year? 75,000 a year or 54,000 a year. Mm -hmm. Um, but yet it's only an increase of 34,519. So he's, he must be totaling in all of the part-time. Yeah. And so the, really the added, uh, overnight is 34,519. Right. Which is still a significant. Well, again, we'll have to explain yeah. the uh, admin assistant is there, is in here. Yeah. So I'll have to explain that. No. The agreement was we'd continue it for a year. Yeah, I would. I think there's opportunity to look at shared supports. And if, if that position went full time, is there opportunity for him to do some of that? And if when we go to um, Harper's payroll, there's less mm -hmm. administrative support needed. Yep. So I, I, I feel as though that that should be looked at that position. Okay. It was looked at last year too. Right. So I think it needs to be followed through on. <laughs> <Okay. clears throat> yes. <laughs> You waited. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Caught it. <laughs> uh, and and I, I do find it interesting the um, the five percent, ten percent increase. Um, you know, I'm guessing that's adjustment for uh, inflation. Yeah, maybe he can point to specific bills that are mm -hmm. going up. But yeah. Again, across the board, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Not everything went up, and some things have gone, started to go down. So. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll have to explain that. Dog officer. Oh, no. It looked like there was an in increase. Yeah. yeah, slight increase. Expenses. And I mean, honestly, as the regulations increase, like the rabies thing, driving, um, mailing. I don't have an issue with Yeah, that. bat or something. And, and there's no, tra does training for the dog officer, would that come under the police department? Okay. Yep, he's got an in here. Training hours, 1,604. Mm -hmm. Is that just for her? But that, for, her. for her? Okay, good. Town clerk.
She is increasing her hours to handle that office. Yeah. To 16? She figured on 12 hours. Wow. Okay. And we had, I had said 15, I think, when we were That's what I thought planning. Was I, I think yeah. 15 is really... Well, she says here the average hours per week are 10 to 15, but she took 12 in the middle to make this budget. Okay. So... And that's, I wonder if they, the selectmen in the past have voted not to do early voting. Is that correct? For, Last year? Only for um, the local, local, the local like, camp for this state. Okay. But I state think for federal. state and federal, you have, you have no yeah. choice. So it, hopefully that's funded. We just did that. At the special. Okay. Okay. Was that extra three and three? Yeah. But would that be for next year? That's not. I want to, I wonder if it's funded for 25 then. Um, no, you would have to add it on. It's not in here. She didn't include it. No, so right. you have to. Yep, that's yeah. what I mean. Yep. And she is on requested to be on the agenda for early voting. Monday. Yep. Yep. Monday. Monday, yeah. Okay. All right, we can talk to her Monday. Get you got ballots already? Mm -hmm. Yes, apparently. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, I think this is a very conservative budget. For, for. Okay. Treasurer. Are the police details feeding into that? Uh, I, there is police details somewhere. For election. I for thought elections. It was. I thought it was. Yes. Um, I mean, I just didn't see it on your list. I remember reading it somewhere. It's not broken out, but she, Chris put it into expenses, election expenses. Yeah. I've, I've seen it on some kind of printout. It's when he bills the town. Okay. Because that's when I said, we have to have a police officer in an election. We do. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a recent change. Yeah. I but, think he, he actually asked to stay inside. inside yeah, he was right in the middle of the room. Yeah. Yep. yeah. The ruffians in the small town. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Who's next? Treasurer. Treasure. Treasure. Yeah. That increase of 41 was the uh, debt exclusion mm -hmm. interest. These numbers are going to have to change too because the 20 and the 20 Medicare and unemployment, we transferred money at the special mm -hmm. from there. So that column for 24 will. That's going to go down. Okay. Uh, I believe we left 3,000 in the unemployment. Mm -hmm. So that's 17 minus there and then 13 minus on the uh, Medicare. I mean, seven minus. So you want me to change the 20 to three? The first 20 should be three, yep. Yeah. Uh, is that um, unemployment nine? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then that uh, Medicare should be thirteen. And that's for retirement funding. No, that's oh. Medicare. Oh, we all pay Medicare. Oh, okay, for um, yeah. part of payroll. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's a twelve thousand dollar reduction in that section. Yeah. Okay. And I just want to uh, point out to the board that wages are level funded, but the increase for hers is fifteen hours times her rate. That is her level fund versus that's her higher rate. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> but it still shows as, as an increase versus twenty four. But yeah. 
And then the uh, Worcester County retirement that went up nine thousand. Yeah. Is it because we're contributing more? Or? There's a formula that they they use for all of the cities and towns. Okay. Payroll services. I wonder if she's budgeting the. Um, oh, she did. It's, it, it says it at the bottom in the okay. note. Three hundred and fifty times forty-four employees times twenty-six pay periods is four thousand. So that four thousand four is the ARPA or whatever that forty-four times however many. Well, she's doing it based off twenty-six, which right. is twenty-six payroll. So then, but for the this board year. would have to determine how many more yeah. remaining. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Three wardens. Three wardens is level funded. Mm. Yep. Twenty four, twenty four, four, twenty five. Mm -hmm. Veterans agents. I just noticed that there's no expense line. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's there's something. two expenses for tree warden. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. That. So it must be like tree work and yeah, then yes. probably supplies, office like supplies. supplies. The ribbons and or paint. But he doesn't budget anything. Yeah, so he doesn't he doesn't use this. He zeroed it out. Yeah. So maybe can he in theory use his expenses line if he needed to? Yeah. Maybe you can bind them. The trans agent. And is that a um, shared services or? Mm -hmm. Holly is the veterans agent in North Brookfield in New Braintree and in Oak Hill. And does she set her rate or is that um, mm -hmm. a contract or? I think that's what she was given. I mean, yeah. I know she makes the most in New Braintree. I mean, in North Brookfield, New Braintree is like yep. way less. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think they don't receive as many cases mm -hmm. either. Right. You should get reimbursed like 70% of that eventually. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Yeah, 70% comes back. Yep. Is this right? See how um, it says to fund board of health. Oh, yeah, involving. I noticed that too. That's for yeah. I think that that's obviously a typo because that something. Okay. Yeah. Any issues with nope. that? Nope. 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 Zoning board of appeals. Certified mail. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you didn't increase it. Wait, did we put it in the wrong one? No, she increased. For dues. That could be my typo. Um, wasn't it 175 and 125? It, it got increased by $50. So should 50 be up there? Not in the dues, right? No, not in the dues, because the uh, dues went up 50. Dues, yep, from 75 to 125. And then you kept expenses the same 75. Okay. Even with the certified mail going up? They have. This is what we were going to discuss too, probably Monday, because it doesn't have anything really to do with the budget. Yeah. But to get a permit, 
to apply for a permit for zoning board is three hundred fifty dollars. The cost of from the fee mm -hmm. comes out of that, mm -hmm. and the newspaper items. This month, I paid just about three hundred forty dollars out of that money because of those going up on the certified mail. And I was just thinking of raising the fee to 375. Do you have a revolving fund for that? We have a revolving fund that we put there 350 nice, into so you can pay and out. we pull it out of that. That's why we don't really right, right. We don't need decrease it. cash for much. I yeah. just put something in so that we have something to fall back you on. You could have your, your fees cover your costs of mm -hmm. doing business. Um, for your permits. So it should cover 100% of the costs. But she's like right at that point. Yeah. So okay. she wants is right it, your, your permit okay. fees would have to get yeah, yes. yeah. So we're right there now. I'm not, I hate to raise things on people, but yeah. the thing is, too, you know, for this last one that's coming up tomorrow, for which you are running this thing, don't forget. Oh, I can, I'll be here. Um, but is, that, is the appeal thing tomorrow? Yes. And um, if you want to come by, I'll yeah, yeah. So <laughs> they, they really don't need much else for zoning. What time is it? At? I, I'll be here. Okay, I could come at six because I have a seven o'clock meeting. Okay. It, should, it doesn't usually take too long. And it depends on how many of butters. It has yeah, two. So this so. time it was 16 abutters. In OCAM, you never know how many abutters you have yeah. until you actually have to go to the Board of Assessors and get them. You know, everybody says, oh, so and so, so and so. You know. they could be no, there they were 16. Yeah. And I mean, they ranged from New Braintree Road to Weir Corner Road Maple. to Maple Street. Mm -hmm. And I said, Oh my God. And do they all have to get certified letters? They all get certified letters, everyone. So else. your fee may not even cover the certified letters based upon how many abutters they have. Mm -hmm. That's it. Wow. Right. If she had one or two more, it would be a I would have been, been, been over because it was over eight dollars and thirty cents or something per letter. Yeah. It's, I wonder if you could build in the fee is based upon how many abutters, like an escalator. But it has to be attached with the check and everything when it comes to us. We don't make that determination yeah, yeah. Wow. ahead of time. Can the board, this is just for my curiosity, can the board raise prices individually or is it all fees have to be raised at the, like if it affects one, it affects individually. all? Individually. You can do we it can individually. vote it at a meeting. Okay. We put out a, a notice in the paper and like that, the fees are going up. Yeah, a hearing, right? It's or, a public hearing. Yeah, the okay. fees, yeah. yeah. But would it be wise if you're doing one to maybe go through all the fees well, of the town? Month, so that way you don't, like if, if two months later, someone says, oh, we need to raise yeah, this. Now the boards are going to have to pay a higher price if they do certified mail. Just kind of to mail. do it all in Not one all shot. Boards need, um, no boards need, no longer has mm -hmm. to do certified mail. It's, it's oh, a long long short. Fortunately, because we used to have of 30 of butters yeah. to some of those people because they were sense. all lined up along the ponds and spent the right. right, that's what I'm saying. It makes sense to the maybe cost us a fortune. look over all of them and see if any need to be raised and do them multiple in one if, if need be. Yeah, right. Uh, what what um, what boards does, or what fees does the Board of Selectmen oversee? Liquor license. Yeah. And the class twos. The class twos. Those have entertainment. been- Entertainment. Entertainment. Mm -hmm. And the town, um, what else? Well, the electric. One day liquor license fee. Plumbing. Oh, you said that they don't do their own. No, they, yeah. So you can- They make suggestions. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think the last time the Board of Health increased their fees was 2019. Yeah. Um, so, and we've talked about decreasing the fees since then. But we were told that we didn't actually have to put it in the newspaper. Only septic, if you change the septic fees, uh -huh. right, that had to okay. be because it's a Title V thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I wonder if those like class twos and the liquor license to those. Technically, have to be in the paper, yeah. And I'm hmm, interested. Yep. Those aren't permits; those are licenses. Right. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So that's everything. Everything. 
Anybody have anything else? Can I upload the moderator if you want to? Oh, okay. Yeah. In the planning I'm board, just so setting up a anyone can see it and how we're going to meet there. with these department heads so that we know who's coming when and issue it out to them so that they know when their time is coming and give them advance notice that mm -hmm. they are going to be coming before us. Probably due to but two departments a night as we meet and hopefully we can get through them all by the end of March. That'd be nice. Helen is going to be here Monday. Okay. Send me an email. Oh, so you can see what and if we can changed. if we can work together oh, because it's been updated yeah. yep that, mm -hmm. but do the joint meetings like we um, did yep. the other two years so that probably, we've done so well yeah, planning is there now so we could do okay. that um so to make sure that you know yeah. make decisions of which it, department at which time is going to meet yeah. at what time so that yeah, so i mean i guess it could be like not taking um, up too much let's see but a lot of these need to have discussions uh, yep yep and we would, I would like to see that we probably can open up the warrant for the town meeting to get their articles in and like that by the end of April. Mm -hmm. If we're going to aim again for June 12th, like we did last year. Yep. If we wait to do it after June 12th, we're going to be cutting ourselves too short, yeah. way too short. So that would be something we could talk about Monday night. Yep. Somewhere in that agenda. But that to me is very important. Yep. Open in the warrant. It's extremely important to set up that schedule and then get the warrant open for their articles. Yeah. And we all know how obviously town council is. They don't get the same time. time. They, right. And they're busy with everybody else. Everybody's so. doing it. Yep. And we're usually the, one of the last towns to have our annual town meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But just keep June 12th in mind of somewhere around June 12th. <laughs> we don't want to go past June 12th if we can help it. Okay. That should be uh, Tuesday this year. So maybe June 11th. We can do June 11th. Because <laughs> I remember it was Cody's birthday. <laughs> 12th is a Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Got thumbs up. Okay. Not that it matters. All right, do we have a motion? I move we adjourn. I gotta think a minute. I think I said everything I wanted oh, okay. to say. Oh. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 852. We're set up. So I just changed that to. Nope. See you later. And mini bra. I just. Oh, I thought I changed.